I know I've said countless times how I want to bring a genocide upon the NFT community and how I think the NFT bros are just sad, pathetic, basement-dwelling individuals, but this video that I'm going to show you today will give you a whole new perspective on the word sad and pathetic. When you typically envision those words, you probably think of a, a greasy weeb who sleeps with his anime waifu body pillow that has an insertable hole, and then he'll admin his Discord servers or whatever throughout the day. But I just wanted to give you that warning so you know, hold on to those nipples real tight, give them a nice squeezing, and prepare to watch this video. This NFT is changing the game. Meta Girlfriends allows you to have a metaverse girlfriend with their own unique personality. They already sold out of their pre-sale 1,000 NFTs, so the hype is real. Hearing somebody in the NFT community say, the hype is real on this one, guys, is the same as your friend telling you that his girlfriend goes to a different school, and that's why you've never seen her. You know he's fibbing to you, you just don't have the heart to tell him he sounds stupid saying it. But if you caught what he said there at the beginning, this this NFT purchasing it will allow you to have a metaverse girlfriend. Since you can't get one in the real world, just pay a couple hundred bucks or however much the price is, and then you'll never be lonely in the metaverse. You'll be getting virtual hand jobs, virtual blow jobs, virtual rim jobs. You'll be living the virtual dream. And if she starts mouthing off to you about not wanting to do the virtual dishes, just smack her across the face. What's she gonna do? It's virtual domestic abuse. It's not real domestic abuse. But man, when I first seen this, it made me feel so good about myself. My confidence went through the roof. It was like my grandma just called me the most handsome fella in the world and asked why I didn't have so many girlfriends. It's just like all my thoughts of being a loser got Thanos snapped away. They just all washed away into the ocean because I knew there were people out there who were going to buy virtual metaverse girlfriends. And I know I can't sink that low. But also, if you notice, he says these metaverse girlfriends all have unique personalities and whatever. But if you look through this, if you scroll through the entire thing, they all have the exact same face shape. So they're keeping on trend with the, the other NFTs, just the same base model and just, you know, changing the, the outside to make it look a little bit different with each one. So this NFT is unique just in the same way every other NFT is unique by just reskinning themselves into other expensive ripoffs. I also just want to mention how much I hate the TikTok style of content creating, like the way he talks and the way he speaks and everything. Just kind of, it pisses me off. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I just don't like it at all. It's just like, it's like so forced. It's like someone's holding a gun behind the camera and says, I'll sell all your NFTs. I'll screenshot them all. If you don't say exactly what I want you to say, read the script or say goodbye to that bored ape NFT, buddy. But all that aside, I went ahead and looked up this thing. I seen they had a Twitter page and they also have their stuff up on OpenSea, which is like, I believe the most popular NFT thing. I don't do a whole lot of research, so don't crucify me if I'm wrong. You know, I'm not your NFT Je Jehovah. But to give you even more of an ego boost, the Metaverse girlfriends are actually selling for a decent amount of money. This one sold for 0 0.0065, which is, uh, I did a little conversion there and it's 259 bucks. So, you know, <laughs> if you've been feeling bad about yourself, take them trousers down, start stroking yourself off because you, you don't own a Metaverse girlfriend. So you should feel great about yourself. Get up and run around the house naked, slap your sister across the face, throw your grandma onto a tree <laughs> what the and it's not just that one metaverse girlfriend that has actually sold there has been a, a couple of them that sold it looks like one two three four five six of them sold maybe just six overall sold but that's still insane well that's seven eight eight of them sold and then nine that has an offer for point one so this one right here is the most expensive one a highest offer of 401 bucks, and then the rest of them are selling for about two to $300. And this is insane. The fact that somebody can sell poorly designed JPEGs for this much money, it's absurd. It, it, don't even get me started on the monkeys, man. Don't get me started on those absurdly priced monkeys. But look at this. The, the headphones aren't even on her ears. It looks like she has them like this. It looks like she's wearing the headphones like this. That's not how you wear headphones. You couldn't even put the effort in to put them on her ears to make it look decent, at least, before you sell it for 400 bucks. But I guess that shows you the type of people that are buying this garbage. It's absolute imbeciles, you know? The only thing in my head that's keeping me sane and not making me in the game of life is thinking that the same kids who buy V-Bucks on their mom's credit card are also buying Meta Girlfriends and Bored Apes and other NFTs. But sadly, that's just a fantasy because I've seen this picture right here a couple 
couple days ago, maybe a week or so, and it was a picture of inside the Board Ape Yacht Club parties that, you know, those exclusive parties that you can't get invited to unless you own one of those absolute abominations to humanity. And just look at the people in there. It's exactly what you would expect. They all kind of look the same. All the dudes roughly look the same. You know, black hair, black beards, kind of overweight. <laughs> it just, it doesn't look like a party that's worth paying hundreds of out thousands of dollars, you know? <laughs> Like, why would you want to be here? Like, it just doesn't look fun. Those people are just walking around, just flexing, like, you know, seeing who's got the biggest cock in the room. But instead of cocks, they're just showing each other their bored apes. Like, look, look at this one. Mine's worth more Ethereum than you. Oh, no, look at this. I got, I got number 3450. This one's worth more Ethereum than yours. I got one that's worth 50 grand. <laughs> I'm sorry for getting so sidetracked from our metaverse girlfriends that are changing the game, but that's really all I wanted to talk about anyways. I just wanted to show you that horrible video that'll make you lose faith in humanity, but maybe give you that little ego boost you might have needed. Where are NFTs going to go next? Are they going to build a civilization on the moon? Are they going to have sex with your mother? I guess Tom will tell, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.